there's a lot of people who earn a living trying to convince you that you want to open um, a variable universal life policy or you want to buy this crazy impossible to understand annuity that has an 180 page contract that goes with it that by the way not only don't you understand it the salesperson selling it to you they have no idea what that 180 pages means either and they'll talk about all these wonderful tax angles with you buying this convoluted crazy uh, basically bear trap insurance stuff and the changes in the tax brackets make it even less appropriate for almost all of us let me give you a feel okay married couple do you know that the tax rate caps out for you caps out at 24 percent up to an income of three hundred sixty four thousand dollars in a year single individual hundred eighty two thousand okay there aren't a lot of people earning beyond those numbers the time that you should buy any of these crazy annuities or life insurance policies when your income is below those two numbers 182 for an individual 364 for a married couple is never 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 not ever when you should be even considering any of these supposed wonderful tax avoidance strategies by buying somebody's annuity or somebody's life insurance policy the tax rates by historical standards are very very favorable today and generally the time that you would start being ears open for these various tax avoidance strategies that the insurance people peddle is when your income for a single individual is higher than five hundred seventy eight thousand dollars for a married couple six ninety three almost seven hundred thousand dollars in a year again we've narrowed it to like almost nobody and then even people in those categories there are a lot of questions to ask before it makes sense to buy a variable universal life policy or any of its cousins or siblings these products are pushed so heavily as a way for you to have supposed risk-free money and supposed tax-free money later in your life so first of all they're not risk-free at all and second any kind of universal life policy can have ugly 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 tax bombs but that's not even the worst part there's actually two things that make these products a defective purchase for people of any income level one the expenses embedded in them the expenses and commissions are astronomical and two nobody has any idea what they're actually buying any product that is so complicated that you're relying upon a colorful brochure that has no standing under the law and can say pretty much anything they want it to say what's known as the policy illustration and you're buying based on the promises of somebody you went and played golf with who you really enjoy being with and they get you to give them all this money of yours and then years later you find out oops this is a disaster and this is a problem again and again and again the reason the tax brackets matter so much is that believe it or not for most of us even investing in a traditional investment account putting money in and when we have to pay tax later what's known as long-term capital gains which is lower than the normal tax rates that paying that is much cheaper than doing any of these convoluted insurance company things that supposedly 
are going to get you the ability to avoid tax. 